Hi guys, Dane here, and welcome to another weekly reading vlog. It is currently the 9th of March, Monday the 9th of March. I'm currently reading Daphne de Maurier's Frenchman's Creek, while listening to my audiobook as well. Uh, obviously, well, I'm not reading them both at the same time. I pause my audiobook when I read Frenchman's Creek. But I'm watching the snooker and listening to my audiobook of The Stand by Stephen King. And tomorrow I have a job interview at the Art Centre. Oh, and I've got a um, smoothie, smoothie. Delicious. And I don't have coronavirus. Nothing's killing me inside. Guten Abend. We're watching Fail Army. I don't know how my battery's doing, so we're going to film for a bit and find out. It is Tuesday the 10th. Um, tonight there is an open mic night and it is the 10th anniversary of the Chilton Taps. So I'm going to go to that, hopefully. I believe there's going to be vegan cake. I'm going to play some songs, drink some beers. Uh, I went to an interview earlier at the art center for the bar manager job. I'm actually r helping to run the bar tomorrow night, Friday night, and Saturday night. So that's going to be busy. It's going to be a nice 18 hours of working with drunk people for uh, Chicago. So that should be good. Actually, I won't be working with drunk people. I'll be working with sober people, serving drunk people. Why have I picked up my phone? I don't know why I just picked up my phone. Um, I'm currently reading Frenchman's Creek by Daphne de Maurier. I actually only picked this up yesterday and I'm on page 196 of 250 or so. So I've just got this little chunk here left to do. I'm hoping to finish this before the open mic. Um, but I don't know if I will. It's four now. I've got about three and a half hours. So maybe I'll squeeze, squeeze it in. And then next up, I'm going to read Bone Chillers, The Shopping Spree. So that should be good. And then I've got a couple of short Agatha Christie books. And I think by the time I've read all those, I'm down to about 157 currently reading. Then I've got a Francis Hardinge novel, Cuckoo Song, and uh, Tent to Whiz Through Her Stuff. And my bedtime book, which is... Um, what the fuck is it? David vs. Goliath by Malcolm Gladwell. Um, and it's about how small teams can often outperform big teams, basically. It, it's a very, like, no shit idea. Um, and I'm about halfway through, and it's, it's just, it's going into way too much detail for quite a simple idea. That's all I'm saying on it.
Your boy has got a hangover. I am watching snooker. I'm watching Rocket Ronnie O'Sullivan against Anthony McGill. And I'm listening to The Stand. And I'm wearing a very, very bright hoodie, as you can see. I finished reading Frenchman's Creek by Daphne du Maurier. It was okay. It did pick up a bit near the end, but I still gave it like a 3.25 out of 5. Um, yeah, I am going to stick with du Maurier, though. I'm going to read some more of her stuff in the future. And after that... I have just picked up Bone Chillers The Shopping Spree by Betsy Haynes. It's basically like, I guess like, it's a contemporary of and almost a rival to Goosebumps, I guess. I've never read this series before and um, somebody on one of my videos recommended it so I thought I'd check it out. And it's alright so far. It is very much like a Goosebumps book. Uh, I'll probably finish it this evening. It does have this annoying layout thing. Look how much space there is at the bottom of the page, below the page numbers. It's crazy. Oh well, it means I get through them quicker. Yesterday I went to the Chilton Taps for the open mic there, um, which was pretty good, yeah. Um, they had vegan cake, so that was good. Uh, Jordana was there, so we had Jaeger bombs, because that's our thing now. Um, even though I, I, I think she was skint, I, I think I paid for them, I can't remember. I'm doing alright for money at the moment anyway. I was supposed to be working this evening at the Art Centre, but I'm not needed now. They double booked staff. So, um, so yeah, I'm just going to work on Friday. 
and um, but I have been offered the bar manager job so for part time 20 hours a week I will be at the art centre um, facilitating events and stuff so that's pretty cool very exciting um, yeah, and I can fit that around my freelance writing as well. I mean, I'm actually doing all right with stuff at the moment and kind of doing all right with money. But um, yeah, it's good. It'll keep me busy, you know, and a lot of these are events like I'll, I'll get paid to go to the open mic night, which is my favorite open mic night. Granted, I will be working the bar, but I quite like that because I get to chat to people still. and I get to watch all the acts. Um, yeah. I just I'll just be there before and after like doing the setup and whatnot um, yeah so it's good like I think most of the events that are on I know people there and even if I don't know them that'll be all right it's a nice place you know so there's that and oh and I went on the radio earlier on planet Claire we talked about this actually uh, this was sent to me by Al from Big Al Big Al's books and classics I can never remember his channel name but uh, yeah, this was sent to me by Alan, and um, yeah, we, uh, we were talking about this on the, on the air, and a few other bits, talking about books. This evening, I'm just mostly going to be productive. I think that's what I got for you. Hello, it is vlog time, I guess. It is Wednesday the... is it Wednesday? It is Thursday the 12th of March. Uh, there's not been any open mics or anything, so that's why I'm losing track of time. I've just been at home being productive. Cracking on with some freelance stuff. I'm kind of ahead of the curve with most of that, really. Um, I finished reading, uh, fucking, what was I reading? The Shopping Spree by Betsy Haynes. A review of that to come. It was all right. And now I'm reading Parker Pine Investigates by Agatha Christie. I'm actually right at the end of it now. And I'm really enjoying it. I think I might even give it a five stars. Basically, the premise is, uh, well, Parker Pine is one of Agatha Christie's other detectives, not as well known as Poirot or Miss Marple. And um, he puts an advert in a newspaper saying, are you happy? If not, consult Mr. Parker Pine. And then we get, um, you know, a bunch of short stories following the different people who then, who then contacted him. So, yeah, and it's been a pretty easy read. I mean, I started it yesterday and I'm right at the end. So after this, I'm going to pick up Ordeal by Innocence, which is another Agatha Christie. I've also done a bit more of the stand on my audio book and made a bit more progress on uh, David versus Goliath by... Malcolm Gladwell so yes that's where I'm at and there's no real plan tonight other than to continue to be productive so I guess I'll love you and leave you I am watching the Bletchley circle except I think I've literally just right right now got to the end of it well I'm gonna keep talking because basically I'm streaming from Netflix and sometimes the streaming option disappears and so now I can't pause it I would have to cancel and restream it but there's hardly any of it left, so I'm just waiting for the ending. I think that was it. There we go. Well, that was all right. That was the Bletchley Circle, San Francisco. Um, I'm just coming up to the end now of Ordeal by Innocence by Agatha Christie. It's been okay. It's been like a 3.25, 3.5 out of 5 maybe. Quite a forgettable book, really. But, um, you know, it's Agatha Christie. Even at her worst, she's pretty good. And... Um, I'm just working my way slowly through everything that she ever wrote. And I have the fear because my hands shake. Like, I don't know if they're not really shaking that much at the moment. But, like, this is me trying to hold my hands steady. Um, yeah, I get really shaky hands, especially if I'm pouring a drink into a past plastic cup. Because I don't want to hold the cup too tight because then it crushes the cup. But if I don't hold it tight enough, then my hands shake even more. Like, I've started just pouring pints holding with two hands. I might, go, I might go and see the doctor about it, we'll see. My mental health isn't actually that good today because I'm pretty stressed, just about the world in general, you know, all this fucking coronavirus shit happening. It didn't look very good, really. Uh, I'm supposed to be, oh, I could go out tonight. Or maybe I will still go out. Uh, I could go for one pint at uh, the three tons. I don't know, it's on the other side of town. Plus my ex-girlfriend might be there. I don't know. Said on Facebook she might be there. And I don't know who else is going to be there as well. So I don't, I don't know how many of my friends will be there. There'll be at least one or two people that I'd know. But I'm not really... Yeah, I'll probably stay at home. I'm not really in the outside -y, worldy mood at the moment. Uh, tomorrow there is the jam at the Rose and Crown. So I'll hopefully go to that and play some music. And then on Monday I'm off to see my mum. We're going to go... Well, she's already there at a cottage in Buxton. Um, in the Lake District, so that should be good. It will be like a long day of travelling on the Monday and the Friday, though. But, um, 
yeah. So I guess for that, I will take a Stephen King book with me, as that is what I am want to do when I go on longer journeys. Yeah, I don't know, my, I'm just not in the best headspace today, really. It's, I don't know why, because I've been doing quite well recently, too, so it's kind of annoying, if you want to know the truth of it. But hey ho, all right.
has gone mad. Uh, I will give you more of an update on this in my next vlog, I guess. You will notice I'm in unfamiliar surroundings. I'm currently on holiday with my mum at um, possibly the worst time in my life to go on holiday because everything's starting to get a bit mad with diseases. But we're not on lockdown like the French and the Italians. Right, okay, so on that note, thanks as always for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Hit subscribe for more. Let me know in the comments if you've read any of these books and I will see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.